I will um, summarize the presentation I gave called Sustainable Production of Fuels and Chemicals from Sorghum. And this is about the use of sweet sorghum uh, as a feedstock for fermentable sugars that can be converted to biofuels and value-added chemicals such as butyric acid or lactic acid. Sweet sorghum is a uh, very versatile crop because um, it, it um, does not need as much water and fertilizer inputs as many other crops, uh, for example, maize and sugarcane. Sweet sorghum is also much more drought tolerant and is able to produce large amounts of fermentable sugars in the juice, as well as large amounts of biomass, which can serve as a lignocellulosic feedstock for fuels and chemicals. In addition to uh, disease resistance, another important trait for the use of biomass for fuels and chemicals is the ability to convert the biomass to fermentable sugars with as, at least as least um, amount of um, uh, energy uh, needed. So we want biomass that can be broken down relatively easily and one of the ways to accomplish that is by reducing the amount of lignin that is in the biomass. Lignin is an aromatic cell polymer that normally provides structural support to the plant and also facilitates water transport. So you cannot remove all of the lignin, but you can reduce it by a certain degree, and you can also modify the chemical composition of the lignin itself. And so we have shown that when we reduce the amount of lignin by 10 to 15 percent, we see increases in the amount of fermentable sugars on a uh, biomass basis that goes up as much as 25 percent and this is largely related to changes in the biomass composition. We're using also biochemical tools such as uh, structural analyses based on crystallography to design new enzymes uh, that are better able to provide the uh, uh, biochemical traits that we're looking for. And then lastly we're looking at ways of using the waste products from biorefineries that process biomass to fuels and chemicals as a way to um, offset some of the production costs. And one of the, um, one of the things we've developed is uh, nanotubes made of lignin that can be used to deliver DNA into human cells. And so we're looking into this as a way of providing patients with genetic diseases with uh, the DNA they need to survive.